64% of adults in the United States play video games, and the average age of a gamer is 34 years old. With gaming being such a popular platform for people to be engaged, I wanted to put some tips together to help keep adults safe. What's up everyone, my name is Cam Adair and I'm the founder of GameQuitters.com, which is a support community for gamers and their families. I come from personal lived experience where I struggled with a gaming addiction for over 10 years. So in this video, I'm gonna share some tips to make sure that gaming doesn't lead to the same fate for you and you can play in moderation and stay safe. To start, it's important to understand what the difference is between healthy and unhealthy gaming. Healthy gaming is when gaming is a complement to your life. It's just a fun hobby or activity that you have where you're able to socialize, see your sense of progress and explore new worlds. Unhealthy gaming is when gaming is leading to negative consequences. It's hurting your relationships. It's hurting your academic performance. It's hurting your career opportunities. You play video games, but it leads to harm in your life. Often this happens because you just wanna play more and more and more and you play too many hours and it impacts other areas. So you wanna follow the steps I'm about to share with you to keep gaming to be fun and not a problem. Now, if you're curious where your gaming falls between healthy and harmful, go to gamequiz.com and click the quiz on the homepage. This will ask you nine different questions for you to understand where your gaming falls and provides suggestions based on whether you're a casual gamer, a risky one, or if you're gaming and it's causing a problem. All right, so let's get into tip number one. Limit your gaming to certain times and places. You may wanna also use a schedule to literally schedule the amount of time that you can play into your week so you don't go overboard. Next, keep gaming out of the bedroom so you can avoid it disrupting your sleep. You can use an alarm or a timer to help you keep track of your time because often when you're playing games for many hours, especially with friends, it's easy to lose track of time. Next, make sure you choose games that create positive experiences for you instead of negative ones. For instance, if League of Legends is toxic and you don't actually really enjoy playing with other people, maybe playing single player games that are offline where you just get to experience the narrative and the game itself without all the extra baggage is a good strategy for you. For me personally, that's playing chess and not World of Warcraft. Chess is something I'm able to keep in more balance and it doesn't cause issues, whereas World of Warcraft just no amount of play is ever enough. Now chess might be a problem for someone else, so you have to know yourself and hold yourself accountable. Be honest about where gaming falls for you. Make sure you stop gaming at least one hour before your bedtime. And of course, if you're an adult, you're setting that bedtime for yourself. So you have to hold yourself accountable to what time are you gonna go to bed to maintain a nice routine, a nice lifestyle in your life and make sure you turn games off at least one hour before that so your body can decompress and you can actually fall asleep more easily. Often sleep schedules are one of the first things that are impacted when you start gaming excessively. So this is a really important point to be aware of. You also wanna keep hydrated and avoid junk foods and other stimulants like energy drinks. When you're playing games for long hours, it's easy to just sit there having junk food and energy drinks and caffeine to keep yourself stimulated. But stay hydrated, make sure you're drinking water, and also have regular breaks to get up, move your body, and stretch. When you play games for long periods of time, that can have an impact on your physical health. So make sure you break up your play into shorter times with more breaks. And finally, you wanna review how much you're playing every week and adjust it accordingly. Some weeks, maybe you have more time to play than other weeks, and it's okay to balance that out. For instance, maybe you have exams coming up or you have a work project you need to focus on. So maybe you're playing less during that time, but then maybe you have holidays and you can play a little bit more. The key is that you hold yourself accountable and that you're reviewing how much you play. Because often when gaming problems seep in, game time is slowly increasing and you're just staying up later, you're not doing things as much as you need to, you're not as focused on your relationships, and then it begins to have other issues. For instance, you could play two hours or less and not every day, maybe a couple times a week, maybe just on the weekends. Set up the routine that works for you, and if you haven't tried something like this before, try some new things, try some new strategies, and see if you can move gaming to be more of a positive and not one that's a negative. So I hope those tips help you, and leave a comment below. Do you 
play games in moderation? Do you think your gaming is healthy? How do you keep it to be that way? Maybe share a tip you have for others in the comments below. If you're new here, hit that like button, hit subscribe, and I'll be back with another video here soon. So thanks so much for watching and until next time, peace.